Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I really wanted to get started with the Azure DevOps. And I have two goals in this particular video. I want to show you how to create Azure organization. And also I want to show you how to create a project and that's all, okay? And we'll do more and more and more in future series. But this video is very, very focused on Azure DevOps organization and project creation. So I'm already logged into my Azure portal. So at the very top, if you just start searching for Azure DevOps, the first thing that will show up is the Azure DevOps organization. That's where you want to go. So click on that one. It will take you to this particular page, uh, which will say that Azure DevOps in big blue font, uh, where plan, plan smarter, collaborate better, and ship faster with a set of modern dev series. So that's a really good DevOps platform from Azure. And but you don't have a whole lot going on in here, so you kind of maybe thinking, what, what am I going to do here? But if you notice, there are a bunch of links, three links in particular. Okay, get started using Azure DevOps, bidding management for Azure DevOps, and you also have the My Azure DevOps organization. Now, to be able to use the Azure DevOps, you have to have one organization at least. You can have multiple, but at least you need one, and within that organization, you need at least one project to get started. And when you go to the project level, that's when you have the real, the major five elements of the Azure DevOps, they show up, like Azure boards, Azure repos, Azure pipeline, Azure artifacts, all of that stuff. So let's do that. So if you click on that one, it will take you to another window and you'll just click on uh, create new organization because you don't have any, okay, you just click on create new organization it will go through another window just hit continue and over here uh, just make sure that you know the name that you have is okay uh, or if you want to change that one you can change that so let's uh, to DevOps. let's see if azure takes that name so if they like that name or not all i did is add the default you can change your name if you like and over here, if you look uh, for regular resource creation, you usually have, you know, 50 probably different resource locations you can choose. But for the DevOps platform, you don't have that many choices. You have Central US, East Asia, Southeast Asia, Brazil, South, Canada Central, South India, Australia East, West Europe, and US South. I'm just gonna stick to the Central US for now and go through the validation five, five, x and then i have to go and select the right account uh, and then i should be able to create my organization so what it's doing it's now yeah created this organization if you see at the top on the left hand side where it did it created the organization and it named the organization as the lab tutorial 002-devops uh, and you see, if I click on the new organization again, I'll be able to create multiple organizations in here. But you need one organization, plus you also need a project to get started. So let's just create a project. So cloud security test DevOps project, <laughs> really long name. Now you have two different type of repositories that you can use, okay? Uh, private one is recommended for the most organizations where you can have a very tight control on who can review your code, download your code, uh, push to push to your repository, things like that. In a public repository, okay, you can also choose that if you want. Uh, anyone on the internet can view the project, uh, but if you're choosing that that project, okay. Uh, certain features like if you're using the team foundation version control it's not supported so i'm okay with this project so i'm going to click on the create project and it takes just less than a few seconds and now i have a project and what do you see the left hand side is just gone so now still i have the um, my organization is st still showing up at the very top under that i have the overview and here are the five like pillars of azure devops azure board is where you have the work items your sprints your stories everything you all of the work okay and your team everything is going to be managed here your repo is just like a github you can have your version control within this particular feature your pipeline is where you'll be you'll be setting up your ci cd 
your test plan with where you want to make sure that you have right test plans and you are not introducing any bugs and artifacts would be the end goals if your project got like a software that needs to be delivered to a client and uh, you have a jar file maybe it's a java project so that at when all of that is done you can put that end product to the artifacts okay so now you have a perfectly great project that you can start working on and in this particular video that's all i wanted to cover so hope you like this video if you did then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you leave your comments please